All right. So what was the total you were able to collect from them both? 10,000 cash. 10,000 cash. And this, this was yesterday, right? Your family Monday. gets... You, well, I was you, talking you, to them about perpetuity. There you go. See? See, guys? So this is not no patty cake yeah, this was, little game. This was yesterday, right? So you said you've been following since ever job. God, mm -hmm. hey, that's crazy. That, that's a long time. Oh, okay, cool. So these... <laughs> <laughs> these last couple programs what what um like interested you enough in them to like hop into these programs what interested me enough is the fact that i come from a family that has always owned and operated their own business mm -hmm. and i know the struggles that the businesses go through and okay. i wanted to be able to help them as well as help myself at the same time so i always believed in the win-win-win strategy Okay, cool, cool. All right, so tell them about your recent win, if you don't mind. Of course. So basically, I went to a local gym that we used to frequent, and then we had to stop because the payments were always messed up. They didn't have yeah. a normal payment processor, and you couldn't pay online. You couldn't schedule the payment yourself or have them schedule it the right way and we ended up telling them we can't do this because you're taking the money out before the time yeah we got it we got to stop yeah. and i went back to them and i said i have i have a solution for the issue that we had the issue with and yeah. i explained everything and everything that oh sorry about that <laughs> um everything that we had had our issues with and the owner was very receptive with it yeah and he said how can you make this better for us and me being a technical person i love learning all new facets of technology yeah. i was like well we can do this 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 and this and it would one thing that la fitness used to have that blew everyone out of the water was their juice bar because yeah. they do the protein shakes and everything. Why don't you use that spare room you have and turn that into the juice bar? Juice bar. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> he loved all my ideas. And his daughter, she's actually going back into opening her, her gym back up. And we're going to get hers going and his at the same time. Okay. All right. So what was the total you were able to collect from them both? 10000 cash. 10,000 cash and this was, this was yesterday right Monday Monday okay congratulations first of all okay Thank you. all right so there's a lot to unpack here y'all um first of all she's been around for a while like a lot of y'all don't even know what F a job is but anti-job is just the more politically correct <laughs> way of saying F a job you know I used to my logo used to be a giant black middle finger right so <laughs> she's been around for a while now it's like i said there's a couple things to unpack i don't want to talk too much i want her to talk but uh it's a couple things that happen guys um and you can learn a lot from her so she got in to copy and paste rentals a lot of you guys watching might be interested in copy and paste rentals that's the high ticket drop servicing or uh, uh might already be in a uh, copy and paste rental program but then she circled back around hit me up and was like yo i want to cancel my subscription for copy and paste rentals and i'm thinking ah uh, that's sad sad to see her go you know and she was like no i'm going into the agency to partner program and that's that's like a more expensive uh program than copy and paste rentals i'm like huh okay so i canceled copy and paste rentals and she got into the agency to partner and she's how how long you been in agency to partner now? About a month and a week, month and two weeks. Okay. All right. So check this out, y'all. Agency to partner program is only two hundred dollars to get in. Okay. She was in copy and paste rentals for a while, and she's been following for a while. She didn't get results until she got into agency to partner. So what I was I'm trying to get to you guys is sometimes it's not of uh, just you sometimes it's not just the program sometimes you have to find what fits okay what she was looking for like she said she wanted something 
that would be able to like really like like take hold of the businesses that she want to help and she can like take the skill and apply it directly to that and stuff and she found that better in agency to partner than she found it in copy and paste rentals so you just for some to find your passion exactly so for some of you guys who are in agency to partner uh, i mean copy and paste rentals and you see the other people getting testimonials but you uh you haven't got results yet or something like that maybe maybe you should just try agency to partner with agency to partner as you can see okay so now i gotta go into the second nugget she dropped okay she went into a gym a gym that she was a customer of before she uh um elaborated on what her grievances was honestly to the owner of that gym do y'all want to know why they had to listen to her? It's a little something called reciprocity. When someone collects money from you for so long, they can't treat you like a cold caller. They can't treat you like uh, you just sent them a cold email or some crap like that. So I tell you guys, hey, write down, like go in your bank statement and look at all the people that you're paying because they literally have to lend an ear to whatever you have to say. Because you are a person that could have left a complaint or a grie grievance in a grievance box. You you have actual insight on what needs to be improved in their businesses and everything. And when you can partner with them to help them with that, you know, they'll appreciate it more than just some marketing guy or gal just calling them out the blue. You see? So she went in there. She knew them already. And she was able to collect. 5k from the one one gym owner and then he was he just brought his daughter on for her gym that's crazy so um okay so you're not charging them that per month are you no that's just the setup fee okay so what are you planning on doing next what are you plugging in next so what i'm plugging in next is their credit card systems their payment systems plus i'm setting up them setting up a website for them because they don't even have a website they just have a facebook okay cool cool okay so hey uh, all right so <laughs> when you go through the payment processing companies um i don't know if you went and found found another one but the ones that i recommend inside agency to partner you'll get 50 percent uh, uh transaction fee from from whatever collection uh, you know uh payments that they're collecting from anybody at any of their physical locations and when you create their um go ahead as quickly as you can create their websites so that you can have the same uh payment processing company they're going to put the uh the custom gateway on the site so now you'll collect payments from the site and from in person you'll get the transaction fees from that um <laughs> it's a super exciting i'm so proud of you all right like because a lot of people don't get that Okay, so they heard the ten thousand dollar part. I know the ones watching this right now are like, "Oh, she got ten thousand. That that was that's the setup fee, guys." Yeah. Remember, this is agency to partner. We're not trying to get a, get them on retainer, having them just stuck paying us a set amount. We want to be able to grow when they grow, when they go to a different location, when they create a different location. She's going to partake in that if they were to sell one day. So right now. We're going to set it up to where she can get profit share. Then after maybe six months, they trust her enough. We're going to try to see if she can get some equity. Because then if they were to ever sell, your family gets. You, well, I was talking you, to them about perpetuity. There you go. See, see, guys. So this is not no patty cake, little game stuff. This is real business. And this is why I, I try to tell you guys, like if you take it serious, see, she could have easily just went in there and just watch YouTube, watch, watch the videos like she's just watching YouTube. Some of you guys will message me and say, hey, David, I'm like, what? And they'll say, I'm done. <laughs> I'm like, you done what? I'm done watching the course. I'm like, okay, what, what did you do? What's next? <laughs> this, I'm, this is not YouTube anymore. What actually helped me most with watching the classes was taking notes and i can show you my notes for sure let me see some uh if, if well if you don't have them on you then uh, you can play them. yeah so i know one of your videos hold on i just had to allow the share. drop my stuff here real quick 
Okay. All right. There we go. Yeah. So I I listened every single thing you said. Yeah. On the client first agency partners, and I took my own notes on the end. Yeah. And wow. I went through everything. Nice. Nice. All, all of them. All the way to the <laughs> nice. Nice. See, when people can embrace the fact, see, we have this fear because we come from this nine to five society where we have the comfort and security of well, every Thursday or every Friday or once I'm expected this money to come in. All I have to do is just show up. So when we go into entrepreneurship, we look for that same security and that's a mistake. And don't think just because it's Sunday, four o'clock in the afternoon, you're not going to get in touch with the business. Businesses are always looking for help. For sure. That is my favorite times because I, I use the infomercial approach. When I did used to do prospecting and everything, um, I used the infomercial approach. I would like reach out when I knew other people wouldn't. It would be like, like okay, maybe, they're, maybe they have insomnia. So I'll be messaging people like, at 2 a.m. instead of when everybody else is messaging people at like five, ooh, they're off work. Let's message them at five or six. No, 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 no. Because then your messages get buried. I message them right when they get in the office because I know that's when they check their their uh, voicemails before they start the day. I don't message them at the end of their day because all the other marketers are leaving voicemail messages at that time. So mm. that's that's super smart right there. Yeah, Sundays, like holidays, because most entrepreneurs don't know how to cut it off. Mm -hmm. so, uh, you know, if you read the book Clockwork, he was always talking about how he'll go on vacation and his wife would get angry because he'll still be working on vacation. My so husband gets mad at me for the same thing. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm at a baseball game taking calls. Yeah, we're just a different breed of people. And 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 most people just don't understand that. And we try to um uh change ourselves to fit into their world, but no, it's nothing wrong. It's nothing wrong with us because we're the people that create the you know, God creates the world, but we're the people that create their He their, gave us the power of creation of our own. Yeah, their perceptive reality, TV, um this water bottle, like it was an entrepreneur that dreamt that up while his wife or her husband was sleeping freaking bed, telling them, hey, why don't you take a rest? Like all of these things that people take for granted and use, like if we weren't as obsessive as we are, people wouldn't have a toilet to sit on. We wouldn't have plumbing. We wouldn't have, we wouldn't have pros. Well, I, that's probably we wouldn't a, have a house. We wouldn't have houses, you know, uh, <laughs> We wouldn't have, yeah, you know, we wouldn't have any of this stuff if it wasn't for people like us. So instead of us trying to conform to the world, the world needs to learn how to catch up. That's that's what I say. Uh, Cause I used to, I used to be like that. I'm like, try to make people comfortable. Cause you know, I'll talk to family from back at home and I haven't talked to them in a while and they'll want to just gossip and tell me what's going on with other family members, bad stuff that's happening, who died or, who got a divorce and I don't want to hear that crap. So when I call them, I ask them what they're doing. Like, how's your business? Have you started a business yet? You still working it? And they don't, they don't like that. They're like, dog, take a break. That's all you talk about is business. Well, don't call me then. <laughs> don't call <laughs> me. Do not call me. But okay. All right. So the good thing about agency to partner um guys is that now that uh Samantha has this partner right here, uh, she has two partners actually. So <laughs> it's not just, oh my God. I why, did one. No. Just hit me? why did that just hit me? They're not the same company, right? No. So, okay. Okay. So, so the father's locations are going to have his own separate payment processing system. Uh, the, the daughter's is going to have own separate um, payment processing systems on different website. He has his own different website. Um, guys, and they're both 50 miles apart. 50 miles apart? Perfect. So it's completely different clients. Um, okay. So, and okay. So y'all keep hearing us talk about the payment processing system. That's just because that's the first plug-in. 
their monthly like, fee is seventy dollars. Yeah. Okay. See, so that's that's the first plug in for the ten monetization methods. But then she's going to put like once she builds the uh, the websites, she's going to put the AdSense on um you know their thank you pages, their their about us pages, their help us pages, and this is a whole nother income stream that she can choose to split with them or she can choose to just like pocket it and keep it herself. Me, I would split it with them because this solidifies your place for them to understand why you're so valuable that you're not just some agency that, that's doing some work. But like, hold on, she's bringing me money I didn't even know. Like, and that's money that they don't have to do anything for. She's going to uh, create um she's paying like, me to work with me exactly <laughs> it's literally like that so you're a gift to them not a not a bill or a burden like most marketing agencies are you're going to um also have upsells you're going to create upsells for them um not just an offer for their services we want to add monetization to them that they don't have to have any training for or overhead or have to hire anybody new or anything like that. So I'm also so getting new new equipment. Yeah. Okay. We we about to get. Okay. So, okay. So sorry. No, no, no. No, I'm just excited. I'm just excited for you. Okay. So when I say upsell, guys, I'm talking about things that she's gonna make money off of that she'll be able to split with them. So they have. They're gonna. If they've been in, how long they've been in business? Do you know? Uh, about a year and year and a half. Okay, so they so they should have a a decent size email and SMS list, right? Okay, so guess what Samantha can do right now today. You can go and find affiliates and CPA offers related to the health niche that are complementary and congruent to the services that they provide, and since it's a gym. That can be protein power, powders, creatine, resistance bands, all of that. And now since you're a partner, you get to use their name. So when you email their list, you can say, I don't know his name, which is say, Jeff, Jeff thought as a gift and uh, of our appreciation of you being a, a, a longstanding member of the gym, we got you this discount on these resistance bands. We understand that you can't always make it here in person but we want you to get the best body. So get these resistance bands. They'll be delivered to you in, in, a, in a couple of days and you can do a little home or on the road workout until you can get back in the gym so you won't forget about us. Like dog, you get that. So you send that blast out to their whole list, text and email. That's extra money for you and them that nobody was going after. Well, the best part is I was looking into a company that actually does that. Mm -hmm. that has print on demand so that I can put their name onto the resistance bands. Oh, nice. Nice. So yes. if they forget it somewhere, somebody picks it up and goes, what's this? <laughs> yeah. See, see, you got the wheels turning, man. Like I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Okay. Let's get to the part that you was just talking about a second ago. I'll let you explain that part. Go ahead. So it, it took a couple of days, but I had my interview with the finance company that David suggested and very awesome people. They explained everything and I had to sign some paperwork. That wasn't hard. They walked me through everything and I explained everything to the business and I told them that these people would be able to speak with them to help them out to see about getting new equipment. Yeah. And he's like, I, I can't afford the new equipment right now. I said, that's fine. They have this type of financing, this type of financing, this type of financing, and they also have this. And he goes, really? I said, really? yes. And he goes, what do I do with all my old equipment? I said, easy, I'll sell it all for you. There you go. Hey, <laughs> come on, she's a natural at this, y'all. Hey, I understand all y'all ain't gonna be no natural, <laughs> but... Okay, now I don't think y'all picked up on game right there. Watch this. She partnered with the finance company. Okay, this finance company gives uh, uh, 
between three to 12% on each loan. So we're referral partners. So now watch this flip right here. This partner, this gym, that she, both of these gyms that she got, okay, they sign up to get new equipment. I don't know how much, 20, 50, it depends on the square footage of the uh, the, the gyms, whatever, however much you get, uh, the gym square feet. needs. Okay, so she gets three between three to 12% of however many thousands that loan is. That's the first thing. Now, this is what you need to do, uh, Samantha. Now you need to be the supply. What do I mean by that? Go find a referral program to some gym equipment. So now you got paid from the loan. Now when they go purchase the equipment, you get paid from the company they're buying the equipment from. Okay, so look. Ah, yeah, this is super awesome. All right, and so that's two gyms, y'all. That's two separate loans. And two separate uh, um, accounts for the equipment as well. So, yeah, that's crazy. That's, two separate that's, websites. The websites, yeah. Woo! And, and and we only mentioned a couple of the monetizations. So when I was, if you go on, a, on the homepage of Agency to Partner, when I say you can get to six figures per month just off of a few partners, this is why I'm saying that. This is why I'm telling y'all to stop with the agency, the typical agency model where you got to go and get a thousand people to pay you a thousand dollars each. And you got to deal with all, a thousand different headaches and attitudes when you can just have a few partners that actually value the relationship because the moment from the moment they met you, you're adding to them. Hey, I'm going to add this on. I'm going to add that on. I'm going to add this. It's, it's other like monetization methods that we haven't even discussed that she's going step by step guys she by the time she's done plugging them all in they're going to be their revenue is going to be increased and so is hers i will tell you one thing my husband taught me that you didn't go ahead yeah teach me teach me all right so you know how people usually when you tell them the price of your services and all that other stuff yeah and they're like oh i i I don't want to pay for this. I want to try it out for free. Yeah. Does McDonald's give you a free trial? <laughs> nah, nah, they don't. Hey, then. So can you can you order something, walk out the door, and then come back and say, oh, it wasn't that good? <laughs> no, you can't. Nah, you pay for it, nope. you try it. I agree. That's why I tell people that a lot. I feel like it's situational, depending on how fast you want to, um, how fast you want to scale. And it depends on brand. Okay, so McDonald's has spent billions in branding. So as soon as you see them, you have a trust factor. You immediately recognize them and be like, okay, I've been to enough locations that all of their locations taste pretty much the same. I know what I'm going to get. But when you don't have a big brand, it's a little bit more uh, difficult. You can still stick to your guns and like, yo, you don't get nothing free, right? Um, but if you don't build your, this is why people should be doing that simultaneously. So that's mm -hmm. another thing I want you to work on. I want you to document what you're doing with this partner right here, the entire step as you're building the sites. Every time you get a new part uh, thrown in, okay, we we got their payment processing. Whenever they start making more money because of something you did, because guess what? You get the back office, you get the dashboard for the payment processor. So you're going to get to see when their income goes up based off of some of the things that you're going to plug in for them. You're going to mm -hmm. plug in their Google. How's the, I don't know how well their Google, my, uh, their Google business profile is ranking on Google. Uh, we're going to start. It's not. See, just that, one, that one thing right there can bring them new customers. So, so you're going to be able to track all of that. So once you start fishing that around, I always tell people first show. First show, right? First show, especially if you need money up front. If you guys out there still trying to get clients to pay you up front that you don't know, like they're brand new people, you need to show first. Like if you, if you, let's say you can't afford to give free leads, you know what I'm saying? Well, show as much as you can. Like when I used to get clients, the reason I would be able to sign a five, $10,000 client the same day I met them 
is because I wouldn't even talk to them until they saw everything I've done. I would literally message them, be like, are you online right now? They say, yeah. And I'll, I'll hit them with a damn testimonial. And when I see that they seen it, I wait five minutes. I send them a screenshot. Then I send them a recording of, of me going and checking inside some of my clients' accounts from the day that I met them. And then I'll I'll log into my call tracking software and I'll let, uh, play some of the recordings of the calls that my clients are getting where they're closing sales. And by mm -hmm. the end of that, they're like, who are you? Yo, how do, how do, how do you do this for me? Boom. So do that guys if you can't if you don't believe in doing the free up front or if you can't do the free up front because sometimes there are situations where maybe you have something coming up where you just you can't you can't do like you can't afford to do free leads and stuff like that well guess what well you be like oh david well i don't even have any case studies but there are public case studies out there it doesn't have to be yours all the time as long mm -hmm. as you can get clarity into the mind of the the prospect that you're trying to work with that's all that matters like yo this is a gym that was in the same situation as you this is how much they were making this is how much they're making now oh you think that's a fluke here's another gym same situation this is where they are now and you just knock them upside the head with that until they have that that mcdonald trust and then they're going to ask you, well, how much is this? How much would it cost for you to do this? And then that's when you give them your price, right? So, but yeah, I, I agree. Like in most cases, I'm not, and that's why, like, I don't get on calls with people anymore that haven't bought anything from me before because, um, well, one reason is because I got so much free stuff out there. Like I've been on on social media since 2015. But another reason is because, of time. Um, I'm 37 now, about to be 38 in October. And I realize how important time is. I have a family of five. I'm in a different country. I'm always on a move. I used to get on calls with people, 30 minutes, show them all the good things I can do for them, trying to convince them to let me help them just for them to say, ah, okay, I'll think about it. Nah. Nah, I'm not doing that. No, we don't do that no more. Mm -mm. Uh -huh. So I agree with your husband, right? <laughs> now yeah. it's like, okay, well, guess what? There's enough information in the market for you to make a, an educated decision. And when you're ready, you can come back to me. The best, the best I'll give you is an irresistible offer with risk reversal included. But other than that, I'm not about to give you this free. So... Uh -huh. I'm with you and your husband on that situation right there. Yeah. Especially if I don't have, now I make exceptions. If I'm speaking with a room full of people where I can cast the net, where I'm like, okay, I know if I say this, I'm going to get somebody in this freaking room. In that case, I might give a little, a little sampler away. Kind of like when you go to the mall and you go on mm -hmm. the food court, they know you have all those options. So they send a little person out there to give those little, taste test out there so you can come like to them a, yeah or sam's club where they give you the taste test yeah and then you gotta figure out how they made it that good <laughs> exactly exactly so in certain situations i'll give a sample pause but in in most situations especially if it has to do with my time like the bible talks about you paying the servant and his wages so anybody that's servicing you using their time and their manual efforts, they deserve to be paid. They just do. So I agree with you guys on that. Okay. So I'm not going to keep you too much longer, but you are super awesome. What I would say is this. You have these two partners right here. If I were you, I would just concentrate on these two. And I say this, y'all, because... In this agency to partner model, she's going to build something called a digital twin. This is what me and Curtis talk about in the agency to partner program. Have you got to the uh, his section yet with the Cinderella equity? Uh, I've gotten to the second part. Okay. Okay. So we're basically going to create an online version, a clone, a digital clone or twin of the assets that they have offline. And the, 
crazy part about it is right now they re they don't really have that many assets to begin with. Okay, the good thing about it is the agreement. Per the agreement, she owns the online assets. So as the company grows, she'll actually have more ownership in their brand than they do. <laughs> so they'll maintain ownership of their offline assets, their physical locations and stuff like that. And you get whatever percentage of that that you guys agree to later on. But the online assets that she create, the websites, uh, any socials that she create for them, the extra emails on top of what they already have, the email list that she's going to be building that below that that remains with her whether they stop working together or not, guys. So that's the power. Can I can I just say one more thing? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so I built. I it took me about a year to finish building it. And I built an app for a realtor friend of mine, and that's already done. But my yeah. son, he likes to help me with anything I do. Yeah. He sat and watched all the videos with me. He understood everything like clockwork and he's only 16. Nice. <laughs> nice. So if a 16 year old can understand it, come on now. See, no excuses, guys. No excuses. It takes action in order to cash in. And those that do it, like I remember when when um a, a couple years back, I used to question, like I used to question what is it that makes some people get results and other people not. And I used to always end up blaming myself, right? They'd be like, yo, I this ain't work or uh, yo, I haven't made no money yet or yo. And then they created something that tracks how much of the course people watch. And I noticed that the majority of those people, they it was either one or two things. They flew through it. So they'll get in today and they'll just, it'll be over tomorrow. Like you'll log in and they watched 99% of the course already and you don't hear anything back from them. They don't participate in a group. You, you see it. A lot of them are in there and don't even say anything. Don't okay. be on the live streams when we go on the live streams. But these will be the same people that will come back later and say, oh, it don't work. But then you have, you have the other bunch. Um, um that do get results and and it's because they take action you is i don't deal in experiments i don't experiment on people that i know have like bills and situations and stuff so i'm only going to put things out there for you that i know work because i've do, done them before or i still do them so okay. for people to say it don't work it's like, okay, I, let me let me see what you've done. Show me your screen. Let's go look at your ads. And most of them, they disappear when I say that. When I say, let me let me see your emails, they disappear. Like, hey, show me what, uh, let me see your Thumbtack account. They disappear because they're not doing everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, here, there's two things. One, you can't lead a horse to water and make him drink. For sure. Or you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make a drink. There you go. Yeah. And the other thing is a lot of people say, I don't have the money to do this. I don't have the money to do that. I can't do this because I, I don't have the money to contact people. It doesn't cost to contact people. It doesn't cost to take a walk down your street and talk to local businesses that you know and you frequent. I know. I know. Everybody has a favorite bar that they go to. See, we we get online and revert back to infancy, infancy for some reason. Like we become babies when we get online. Offline, most of the stuff is obvious. Like if you have a conversation with somebody face to face, it's obvious. But when we get online, it seems like we forget all of this stuff. All of these people we've been paying our entire lives, they have their business owners. We might be friends with the dentist. But he's still a business owner. We might be friends with mm -hmm. the guy that came over and painted our the you know the house the exterior of our house. Yeah, I, I went. My son went to school with his son, but but he's still a business owner. So you have all of these people that you 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 go to the same diner every week. You know, like you have all of these people that and you don't can. Be afraid. 
don't yeah. be afraid to talk to your friends if you think oh if you talk to your friends and family they're going to shun you away no if you're helping them they ain't going to shun you yeah see and that's another thing guys this is not mlm so of course we're scarred for life <laughs> because mlm programs tell you to go oh, make a list of 100 people and then try to get them to sign up to your opportunity and all of that okay but the difference is when they sign up with us and partner with us this time, we're not telling them to go sign up another 100 people. Actually, we're going to have the 100 people come deal with them instead. So it's completely, it's a completely different way. There you more go. There's your next course. Reverse MLM. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When I first started out on the channel, I, I, I used to have all these hate campaigns for MLM because, yeah. I, I I don't like jobs. I don't like MLMs and there's a lot of stuff I don't like, but but jobs, MLM, and traditional colleges, the structures, all of them are set oh, in the education system, all of them was are set up for certain uh, percentages of people to win. It's not set up for everybody to win. And I'll give you an example. If you go to uh, college and you major in psychology they don't teach you how to deal with the competition so you go there you get your degree but they don't tell you them same people that you're in class with that's going to graduate also are going to open up a location right down the street like how do you how do you overcome that how do you deal with that right so that's what then you end up working at walmart when you paid all that for for your degree so yeah but then people come online and they call courses a scam, but they'll pay a hundred thousand dollars to the university. But uh yeah, with well, no refunds. Yeah, <laughs> no refunds either, right? But see, they don't feel it because it's an after effect. After you graduate, that's when you have to pay the debt back and all of that. Since they don't have to pay it up front, that's why they can't see, they can't see that you know it's a scam because it's a loan and and people in uh, po uh, impoverished uh, positions have always been accustomed to loan situations. So they don't see that as, a, oh, well, you know, okay, yeah, that, that's normal. No, it's, it's not normal. They don't give you no guarantee. Everybody come to me and they say, all right, David, what guarantee is it that this is going to work? <laughs> when, when the last time have you heard somebody going to college and said, I'm not going to apply for admissions? Unless I see some testimonials. <laughs> when was the last time? When was the last time? So that goes back to that thing that I was talking about earlier with McDonald's, indoctrination, programming, and branding. Like you've heard through the generations of all of these people that will go to these schools and stuff, and you think that you're just going to be set up. Once you go there, you're going to be set up good. So you just go blindly right into it. Yeah. But anyway, now we're... Now we're preaching. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Is there anything else you wanted to say? Um, Any advice you can give them? All right. So I, me and my family were homeless and we actually built ourselves back up. We didn't, we didn't take handouts. Yeah. My husband ended up working three jobs to get us to the point and my father helped us out and yeah. we ended up getting a new house. Basically our home was condemned. That's why we were homeless. Yeah because of a slumlord but we built ourselves back up and it doesn't take money most of the time to make money it's not what you know or what you have it's who you know mm -hmm. it's not i'm trying to think of the best words to say here you can make lemonade out of a lemon any day but you're going to need that sugar so if you can't find that sugar you're just going to have lemon juice. <laughs> and it's going to be bitter, man. <laughs> For sure. For sure. Uh, make, okay. make, make the most out of everything you have. It doesn't matter if you just have a little. Make the most of it. Exactly. Exactly. And guys, take this advice, man, because she has li not just business experience, but life experience as well. She just told you what happened. They built themselves back up. And now she's like, she's built an app as well. I definitely want to interview you about the app that you built, you and your son. I, I can't wait to do that. 
Um, but guys, like, yo, a lot of y'all are buying all this software, uh, set up all these emails and all this crap that we used to do with the agencies. Look, I'm I, I'm guilty of it too, but I've seen the freaking light. You don't need all of that. <laughs> she got one person that led to an, one other person, but even if even if he didn't have a daughter, what she's going to do with him is going to be enough income to sustain her family a couple times over. Right now, she's at the... Go ahead. I'm actually in the part right now where I'm looking for a partner that is a juice business. Mm, okay. He, okay. Okay. There's another right. partner right there. Cross, cross promotion right there. It's, that's what agency the partner is all about. Like your net worth is determined. I know we all heard it. If you're an entrepreneur, you've heard it by now. Your net worth is determined by your net work. So there was a guy, I cannot think of his name, but the last video he uploaded was from 2015. He's a freaking genius. He's a bald guy, uh, Caucasian glasses. Ah, I wish I could find him, but he's famous for joint ventures. He never spent an, a dime on advertising. He never done any of that, but he's a multi, multi, multi millionaire. All he did was found out what businesses need, found out who had what they need, created like mutually beneficial agreements in between the, the parties and got paid from each and just okay so for example i use i'll use this is one of the methods that i teach inside um i don't know if it's agency the partner or if it's godfather drop servicing i don't know no i teach in the copy and paste rentals okay it's it's called lead swapping okay so if i'm a realtor and i need seller leads right cuz realtors they need seller leads and that's one of the most expensive leads to try to acquire through facebook ads and all of that what I That's start what I have done. See, there you go. So y'all need to get this app too. But what I what I was doing at first, before the app now, <laughs> was all right, if I got a realtor and I'm trying to flood them with leads, I'm like, how do I get free leads to come where I don't have to pay for them? It'll be steady and is painless to whoever I'm partnering with. So if I got a realtor. I'll ask the realtor what zones they work in, okay? So whoever works right outside those zones, I'll call them and I'll say, hey, uh, whenever you get leads that need to sell that's in these areas and you can't service them, send them to me and I'll, get, I'll kick you back on what we, whatever we close from that. So now I got all these people from outside the, their normal areas Whenever they get calls, instead of telling people, I'm sorry, we don't do business out there and missing out on money, they can say, okay, I got a guy for that. So he'll, he'll send me the lead for free. And then that realtor will pay me for that lead. So I got the free lead coming from the freaking realtor. I, up it, I, I upped your game on that. Uh, I see. <laughs> so in the contract, in terms of conditions, it states that we are allowed to share your information with local contractors if for mm. say since you have an issue that you can't sell because of a bad porch or something wrong with the driveway oh, i see what you did there <laughs> so you got some smart people on your team right okay i see what you did there because hey guys it's a lot oh you can do so you go all right yeah y'all gonna be y'all gonna be very successful yeah, you can do so much with so that. Just it should be that... launching in December. I can't wait. Let me be the first to interview you. All right. Yeah, I heard it here. Okay. Um, yeah, you can do so much with that. Because... <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Yeah. All right. So before we go, let me finish out what I was saying. All right. So for that realtor, I would be getting paid from the realtor. I wouldn't charge the other realtor that's just get. Give... Of course, they're giving me the free leads. But another thing I'll do which some people thought is unethical, but I don't think is a big deal, is I'll contact funeral homes. A lot of times people will leave Earth unexpectedly and leave 
assets that maybe they didn't speak with their living relatives about behind. And maybe that living relative does not want to take on that responsibility of that new asset. So I'll make these partnerships with these uh these funeral homes. And I'm like, yo, give me, give me the people that passed away, right? <laughs> give me the contacts of their family. Or sometimes they don't want to give it to me. So I'll tell them to blast out to their list of the people who in the past couple of years, then I'll make partnerships with auction houses. So I'll get first dibs on whatever comes up before they actually have the auction. Like, so basically partnering with all of these different people, all REOs. these leads, you're waking up every morning to inboxes of free leads. REOs. And, exactly. So, but anyway, all right, man. So 10K, you didn't have to spend a dime on advertising to get these partners. You didn't have to set up instantly doc AI and start scraping lists and blasting out to didn't have to set up a website. Nothing. Like nothing. Dog. Hey guys. It just took her a little time out of her day. They could have said no, but even if they did say no, it's and no I big got deal. Exercise going there. Exactly. And but she's she's not an agency, she's a partner. So it's no threat. When, when you approach them as a partner, it's no threat. Yo, you have this issue. You have that issue. I have the solution for that. Don't worry. I'm not trying to put you on some type of monthly retainer. I'm not trying to charge you per leads unless you want to give me that. And I, I'm not going to stop you, but <laughs> I'm not trying to do all of that. I want to fix these problems and I just want to be a part of the, uh, the company. So how much money do I need to bring to your company for you to accept me as a uh, a partner? Mm -hmm. that's, that's it. That's no, there's no reason to be threatened or, or offended. No, like what business owner? If you is, feel that you're doing right for the business, you ain't going to feel bad in your heart. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So you, you, you cold blooded with it. You, you cold blooded with it. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I got to get ready cuz yeah. I didn't even announce it. I'm going uh I'm going to go live in a group and I'm going to go over a couple things that people are having issues with. Um if you I know you, you already took time out for this. If you want, want to come on there and if you have any more questions or something like that, you can come on there. Uh, it's going to be at 12:30 okay. Central. 12:30 okay, Central. Okay, so about an hour and a half. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to answer whatever questions people have and then I'm going to uh um, I'll be in there. Yeah, I'm pretty much give out some information, okay? All right, I'll be in there just chilling. <laughs> All right. Congrats again, and let me know if you need help with anything, because I really want to see you go far with this, all right? Yeah, yeah, and I mean, like I said, I'll, I'll, I'll send you the information, like, November time, so that you can check out, like, do a demo of it real quick. Yeah, for sure, before, yeah. Before I launch. For sure, for sure. And I'm going to connect you with some more people too, okay? So, yeah. All right, tell your husband and your sons, um, I say what's up, all right? All right, will do. All right, talk to you later. Later.